NFL Game Pass is free through the end of May, so he thought, hey, why not relive some of the Broncos' best games from last season? We're starting with the Week 13 matchup against the L.A. Chargers. Phil Milani here with Ben Swanson and Eric Dalala. Eric, uh, what was special about this game? Yeah, Drew Locke's first career start after uh, a bunch of weeks on IR. And as you see here, Phil, they uh, they let him throw right away. You know, the team goes three and out, but he fires one down to Cortland Sutton there and then uh, completes his first career pass on third down. So they weren't afraid to go after it early. This was uh, this is, the, of course, the condensed version of uh, the game pass of this game. So if that's why things look a little sped up, it's not just uh, your screen. We just move fast. Swanson, uh, you got a sweet background going on there. Yeah, yeah you know, it's kind of like that game, I guess, except it, this one's at night. But uh, I thought what was interesting about this game is that they didn't announce that, that Locke was going to start up until basically when, when they announced the starting lineup. So uh, really, for most of us, we were just kind of like, well, is this going to be Brandon Allen again or, or what's going to happen here? And to see him come out there – you know, with the confidence that we know he has, I thought it was good to see let him let him kind of test the Chargers' defense a little bit. Yeah, they uh, what he went three and out there to start. Uh, what were your th- thoughts right off the bat there? Like, okay, maybe just getting some jitters out of the way. I'm I'm sure that's what it was. Yeah, and I think he talked about that after the game. You, you know, you feel kind of the butterflies in the stomach, and uh, I think as you kind of watch this game, he settles in, but he still kind of is adjusting. He's still, he's still kind of feeling out what his arm can do at this level as compared to even the preseason, but especially uh, college players. So you'll see him kind of make some, some throws that he thought he can get through there in college and that he kind of finds out that doesn't quite work in the NFL, but still fun to watch. Yeah, you saw, you saw a nice uh, third down pass there to Deshaun Hamilton, who made a good catch. He struggled with drops earlier in the year, and then, of course, finds Andrew Beck for another first down. So I thought he did a nice job of making throws when he had to. This is his second drive. Obviously, he settled down a bit. Yeah, and then it helps when uh, Philip Lindsay does something like that where he just can kind of provide that, a little bit of a spark there and get the chains moving. And then, you know, uh, when you don't go three and out, then you start to feel a little bit more comfortable when even though you're handing the ball off, you can still feel a little more comfortable while you're out there. You're, you know, feeling what the defense is doing and then, uh, you know, you just feel like you're back at, you're in the action after being on IR for so long. Yeah, dangerous throw there, almost got picked off, and then uh, goes back across his body there to make a nice throw. I think that showed you his mobility, what he could do at this level. And you yeah. see him use his legs a lot in this game, a lot of uh, a lot of bootlegs, a lot of motion, a lot of just him trying to scramble and find things. He finds a lot of success with it. That was one of the uh, – big things coming out of college was that, look, this guy's going to be able to, you know, scramble around and do some of those boot bootlegs and that kind of thing. And then we knew about his arm talent. He could take shots down the field. And right there you knew, okay, hey, this was special. Huh? Cortland Sutton making that catch. Now we're on third down. Locke looking end zone for Sutton. And the diving attempt. Did he get it? Touchdown! Yeah, big time throw there by Drew. You can see his parents – going crazy, Andy and Laura. Um, a nice throw, got a lot of loft on that ball. And, of course, Cortland does most of the work there, but Kesey Hayward Jr. had no chance of getting it. Jenkins, a safety, no chance of getting over there. Um, so an impressive, vibe, impressive drive by Drew there. Um, that I was think, the best catch of the year. I know. That's, that's why I said Sutton did most of the work. You can see Rod Smith there in the corner throwing his arms up. <laughs> yeah, you got to get you a hype man like Rod Smith. You know, it's kind of similar to the to the catch Cortland had against the Browns, I think maybe a couple weeks earlier, if I'm not mistaken, uh, right there in that same kind of spot. You know, week 11, Brandon Allen's first career touchdown pass, Cortland kind of extended his arm out. This time, uh, goes horizontal to get it. That might be a uh, trivia question someday is just, who caught Drew Locke's first touchdown pass? It was Cortland. Cortland Sutton, yeah. And then by this point in the season, the defense had been playing pretty well, too. Uh, I think what this drive ended in a turnover, right? Well, you just saw you saw Melvin Gordon take a carry there. Uh, obviously, now with the Broncos, he took two carries on their first drive. Um, but, yeah, there's a turnover of Draymond Jones right there. Impressive hands for a big guy. 
we've been talking so much about, you know, the addition of Jarrell Casey, re-signing Shelby Harris. Uh, you forget about Draymond Jones being in the mix and coming off that rookie season at the end of the year there. Like, he was an a- AFC Defensive Player of the Week kind of player. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's pretty talented. He had an injury towards the end of the year that kind of uh, sidelined him for a little bit. Uh, and we weren't able to really see what he could do. But, uh, you know, heading into year two, it's exciting to see if he can kind of step up into the into the into into a role there as a three technique. And then at that point, we were excited. Okay, Drew's back out on the field. Let's see if they could hammer this in because, you know, going up two scores right off the bat here against the Chargers would be huge. Uh, that was a big play on third down and three to Jeff Ironman. Yeah, I think you, I think I liked that Drew knew where to go with the ball. Um, you know, took a shot here that, you know, Noah probably should have caught for another touchdown. But this is a good situation because that quick change scenario, you have to capitalize on that as an offense. And uh, Drew does a, a nice job here, obviously. Yeah, and Corlin Sutton uh, ends up catching a touchdown pass here at the end of this. Spoiler. Drive. Spoiler. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert right here. I think that if you're watching this, you probably remember the Broncos went up 14 nothing right off the bat. And uh, that, of course, you remember they're not showing it in the condensed version, but that was when Drew Locke kept looking down at his uh, sleeve to try and uh, get the play call right. And that was the start of Buzz Lightyear. You know, a lot of concern among the reporters about – you know, him looking down at that wristband and was that bad or not. As long as he's throwing touchdowns like this, he can, he can look at the wristband as much as he wants, I think. Yeah, so that's what you think about Buzz Lightyear. You've seen uh, Toy Story, right? Yeah, yeah. I've seen, I've seen all of them, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, Buzz Lightyear, I'm, I'm more into, into Woody, I guess, as far as characters go. But Buzz Lightyear is fine, sure. All right, well, the Broncos were up 14 nothing at the end of the first quarter. Let's uh, – Go ahead and fast forward to the start of the fourth. So uh, the Broncos up 17-10. Not sure how that happened because they were just up 14 <laughs> a second ago. Uh, but this is when this game uh, started to get good. Yeah, you know, he started really well, Phil. Um, through the first quarter, he was a 9 of 13 for two touchdowns, 73 yards, 122.8 quarterback rating. It didn't go quite as well over the next two quarters, and they needed to put something together here, as you see Melvin Gordon. That's the type of runs we want to see for the Broncos this year. Yeah, he can just take that one step uh, and then plant in the ground and go right upfield. Those are the kind of uh, runs that uh, Vic Fangio was talking about. Hey, we saw these types of things on tape, and that's what we really liked about Melvin Gordon. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how this happened. Keenan Allen wide open, flying through the air for a touchdown. Uh, and I don't know about you guys, but at this point when I was in the press box, I was really scared. <laughs> yeah, I was getting a little nervous. I mean, the Broncos hadn't done a whole lot on offense in a while. So for, for the Chargers to kind of come back after being 14, down 14 and nothing, uh, it didn't look good. Yeah, part of, the, part of the issue was that the Broncos had the ball once in the third quarter. And so for a young quarterback to not be able to get on a schedule, sustain drives, that's tough. So here we see in the fourth quarter, he's going to finally get the ball back. Um, and at that point, he's able to do something, obviously. And uh, plays like that on defense there, those were rare last season where they just had a completely busted coverage. You see Keenan Allen just get wide open. And that was one of the growing points, I thought, for the Broncos defense last year was we didn't see too many of those just broken plays. Yeah, I agree. And uh, something that to keep in mind as we watch Drew here is that the Chargers had a really good defense last year. So, you know, saying that as Drew throws his first interception of his career, um, this was a good unit. And so keep that in mind as you see what he does the rest of the way. This isn't a bottom five defense that he's playing by any means. No, I, I mean, uh, he, I think after the game said that he, he wishes he had that one back. And th- those are the kind of plays that uh, linebackers in college don't necessarily make. Yeah, and you see Drew there just kind of looking at Tim Patrick the whole way, and he just reads his eyes and makes a good play. So if I was nervous before, I'm freaking out now at this point in the game. Yeah, yeah you give him a short field. It's not, it's not a, a good sign. 
yeah, you're in what, what Vic likes to call that high red territory um, from 40 yards on in. Uh, that's why this was a huge play here to get a sack. Uh, Derek Wolf, you know, now moving on to Baltimore, but that was a, a big play by him to hold him to three points. Yeah, exactly. Nice job by the Broncos defense in that sudden change. Uh, so the Chargers go up 20 to 17. We're they like, missed the field goal, Phil. They miss it. Oh, I'm sorry. He missed that field goal. What? I think it hit the upright, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Gosh, that's why uh, I guess you come back and watch these games like this. <laughs> you might have to do it another time. Uh, the the condensed version, I just assumed that it went in. <laughs> <laughs> That was this is one of the most impressive plays of the game. I asked Lindsay about it later that week, but Joey Bosa has him in the backfield for uh, you know a three yard loss, and Lindsay gets free for twelve yards, and that kind of sets up this big drive by the Broncos to take advantage. And, and at this point, you're thinking, hey, if we get one more score, we're going to be in really good shape. Lindsay, uh, he got he has got that fourth quarter mentality where he's got that chip on his shoulder. He refuses to go down, and he fights for those tough yards. And then you see Royce Freeman there uh, make a nice catch, set up a third down and short. And uh, you see Drew Locke find Jeff Hireman. That was sort of his uh, security blanket in this game, those little quick outs to a uh, Hireman. Yeah, and yeah. I was impressed by, you know, the arm strength to get him there. As we've seen, sometimes young quarterbacks can telegraph those passes and uh, they get picked off. But Drew did a nice job of getting them there. They're easy throws, but you still got to convert them. Yeah, I think what I liked about that two back to back there with a, a, a short toss to Freeman and a short, ooh, rough drop there. Um, but th those two passes, just taking what he has, he gets a third and short to, before he goes to Hireman. Uh, and then shortly after they convert that, they get behind the sticks and it's kind of a rough situation. They have to kick the field goal. I think Brandon McManus made that one, did he? He, did, he made that one, yeah. Yeah, no, I got it. Okay, so the Broncos go up 20-17, to 17, and then, uh, oh, we saw that on, uh, I think we saw it, was that Alexander Johnson there uh, doing the dyno? Yeah. yeah. Did that against Melvin Gordon in L.A. and then there to Austin Eckler in Denver. The they Colorado both got kid back home got the dinosaur treatment, huh? And yeah. I think uh, I think he was hurt before this game, wasn't he? I think he was hurt. He kind of fought through it, and he had a really good game. Yeah, you, Alexander you, Johnson battled some injuries uh, down the stretch of the season and fought through that, was able to uh, play in all those games, but uh, he was definitely not 100%. This is kind of a crazy sequence here. You know, the Chargers have fourth and one. They're going to go for it. He comes fourth and six after one penalty, and here we get it's going to be a fourth and 11, and if the Broncos can make one stop here, Drew's going to get his first career win. That was some vintage uh, Phillip Rivers there getting upset about something. I'm going to miss that guy. Just an absolutely beautiful throw there and a great catch. Um, you know, not much Isaac Yadam and Kareem Jackson can do there. Yeah, that was an unbelievable play. I mean, at that point, uh, Swanson, what, you were down on the field at this point, right? Uh, yeah, getting close. You know, when, when the game's close and uh, it looks like the Broncos might have a chance to win, I like to go down and head down to the sideline to kind of observe and take some photos and – yeah, it, it was looking good there for a minute when you're when you're backed up to fourth and long, but they let it slide and and it starts to get a little hairy again. Yeah, and at this point in the year, we had seen so many times the Broncos have like a, a bizarre flukish kind of play at the end of the game, and you think that they're gonna win, but then that, that's crazy something happens as you see Justin Simmons make a a huge play there to force. Uh, another field goal attempt. Yeah, that's as big a play yeah. as Justin Simmons made all year, you know, coming up to stop Keenan Allen there and essentially make it so the Chargers can only tie the game at best. And here it looks like we're going to, to overtime. But Yeah, just a couple of kneel downs, right, Eric? Yeah, that's – I mean, what else could happen? Well, Deontay yeah. Spencer, you know, a little power there, huh? Deontay Spencer using the hit stick. Yeah, you would assume just a couple of kneel downs, only eight, nine seconds to go, but – Going for it? Time to take a shot. Oh, what do you think about that call? Uh, not a huge fan of it, but hey, guess what? It <laughs> turned out for the, in the Broncos' favor, so I'll take it. Well, I think they had to review it in New York. You know, it's in the last 
I think they were saying this in the last couple of minutes. So they have to they have to review it. Don't have to challenge it. They're going to look at it up there, and you know they agreed with the call. So the Broncos get a shot, and uh, Drew Locke comes up big in a way maybe people didn't expect. Yeah, I think, I think the bigger thing there is just hey, recognizing the situation and say why not take a shot and and have a chance at something like this. But you still yeah. have to trust the young quarterback, right? Because there are a lot of bad things that can happen if he holds the ball too long. You know, he gets sacked or a strip sack or throws a pick. You can lose the game right there. And so kudos to, to Vic Fangio for wanting to go for it, but also to Drew. Nick Manis for the win, and it is good! 53 yards for McManus. Uh, on a cold night, he just ran out there and nailed it. And the Broncos uh, went on to win 23-20. to 20. Drew Locke's first start. Yeah, one well- one thing I want to I want to mention from my perspective on the sideline there is that you know this is before all the Buzz Lightyear stuff really comes into being before all the Drew Rock like rapping we know he's a confident kid but like we didn't know how he was really going to approach this and as I was there on the sideline right right after the Chargers made their kick Drew Rock starting to warm up the PA there's a break in the action the PA starts playing Ice Ice Baby you know Vanilla Ice Classic. And he's there rapping along to it. And I'm like, what is this kid? What is he going to be like? And you know, he's going for it. And then he makes that kind of happen with, with a smart play looking to Portland Sutton. And man, the celebration after that, that was electric as, as he kind of runs out onto the field and everyone goes a little crazy. Yeah, and that was the start of uh, Drew Lock magic to uh, end the season. He went 4-1. and one. Uh, This was the first of our look backs uh, at last season. We'll be back a little bit later on with with a look at some other magic from the Broncos season. That's going to do it for us. For Eric Dalala, Ben Swanson, I'm Phil Moore.